Alex. I can't believe today is our wedding day. When I met you, I was ready to just see how things would go. I still remember how nervous I was to meet you. My defense to protect myself at the time was just to be ready to run away when things started to get hard. I'm the most nervous person ever, but being with you has made me so calm. With you, I was never wondering what we were, because I already knew you were and will forever be my person, my best friend, and the love of my life. Together, we are unstoppable. Together, we make hell nervous. <laughs> Together, we are extraordinary. I love you forever. Cheers to our beautiful life ahead. I have been in the military for a little over nine years, focused on my job and nothing else. I have tried to find a life partner multiple times, but they were not the right ones for me. I got to a point in my life where being at peace is just being alone. For the first time, I met someone who understood the real me. I felt comfortable to show my goofy self side to you and was not afraid to be vulnerable in front of you. Because I truly felt that I have met my one and only partner who I want to spend the rest of my life with. And lastly, I promise when we grow old and leave our legacies behind, I will find you in the next life so I can keep holding you tight. Just remember, I will be at the end waiting for you. I love you so much. You're, you're my best friend. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. So Alex A., do you take Christine to be your lawfully wedded wife, best friend, and faithful partner? You promise to stay by her side in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, as well as the good times and the bad? And do you promise to respect and support her, to be patient with her, and to accept her unconditionally? And above all else, do you vow to faithfully love her and her alone? I do. And Christine, do you take Alex A. to be your lawfully wedded husband, best friend, and faithful partner? You promise to stay by his side in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, as well as the good times and the bad? And do you promise to respect and support him, to be patient with him, and to accept him unconditionally? And above all else, do you vow to faithfully love him and him alone? I do. <laughs> My challenge to the two of you is to make each other your highest priority and to do everything you can to fight for the commitment that you made to each other here today. And I hope that as you leave here as husband and wife, that the two of you will find an inseparable bond in each other that no one can separate. Well, it's with that hope and by the power vested in me by the Constitution and the laws of the Commonwealth of Virginia that I'm honored and privileged to pronounce you husband and wife. Alex, we're trying to get good pictures, so take your time. <laughs> get in there and kiss your bride. also known as Dr. Quejada to her patients, Ten to her family, and Charlie to me, since, <laughs> since we became new members in Delta Zeta back in 2013. When Charlie met Alex, it was like a breath of fresh air. This man courted her. I mean like legitimately surprising her with traditional romance because chivalry is not dead. When he told me he was gonna propose, I cried. Well, kind of, I actually sobbed. I've been wanting someone to appreciate and treat her the way she deserves to be treated for as long as I've known her. Yes. <laughs> I have faith that this union will be blessed to stand the test of time. With that being said, let us all cheer the happy couple. Alex, you said in your best man speech that you could not ask for a better friend and over the years that I became like a brother to you, well, you are my best friend and you became my brother. I wish you and Christine all the best and Alex, I'm gonna end it the same way you did in your speech. 
treasure her and never let her out of your arms. To Alex and Christine.